We are with Gunnar Berning, of, uh, the CEO of uh, Tuago in Berlin, and Silvia Foglia that deals the Italian market. Yeah, Tuago is the biggest pan European marketplace for online work. So with Tuago you find programmers, graphic designers, translators, uh, online marketing experts, SEM experts, whatever you want, just post a project and uh, we match it with all our freelancers we have, uh, for example in Italy and they make uh, right bids um, on your project and you're free to choose which one is the best to work with and um, yeah, you choose and you work with it. Silvia, how is going to go in Italy? It's actually going well. We started one year ago and a little bit more than a year ago and it was we didn't have much in Italy. We had only a few uh, service provider registered and just a few clients. It was really interesting to see how the service provider and particular programmers and designers were interested in the new concept. So we started to have quite interesting number of, um, of registrations. And after, after a little, we started to have also clients who were willing to try the platform and start to, to find providers. So at the moment, we, had very good, uh, we have had a very good growth and we're really happy about it. Of course, because the Italian creativity is still the best, isn't it? <laughs> sure. So we actually have many providers who are working with international clients. So the, the platform for them is really interesting because they can combine Italy to Italy work, but if they speak English or other languages, they can actually find clients all over the world and they can broaden their view and their possibility. Really? We are basically very convinced of the Italians because five Italians are working here in Berlin for travel. So graphic designers, online marketing experts, Sylvia and so on. So, how's the story of the Twago startup? I was working with Siemens um, and just decided to leave because um, I wanted to work in an environment which is something more flexible and faster basically. And I decided to leave and had the idea of Twago and just um, found the team and uh, we started with the team in 2009. And so we went live in the last quarter of um, 2009. And um, pretty soon just launched also Italy. So we went live as an English and German version. And pretty soon then launched uh, Italy. And um, yeah, in January um, this year we launched Spain. It's easy to launch a startup in uh, Berlin. Easy to find finance. Yeah, it's easy. So I moved from from Munich um, to to Berlin because the 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 circumstances, the environment is, is very better here. Um, for startups, and um, it's very interesting. Um, here you find the good people, you find um, native speakers from, from different countries like Sylvia, uh, which are extremely important. And the big advantage is that we have just one office for all over Europe. That's perfect for starting. And um, Berlin is actually seen as the number two behind the Silicon Valley at the moment, uh, the number two place for startups in the world. Is it easy to contact venture capitalists here? Um, so we received a little bit more than half a million of funding uh, last year from a private bank in, in, in Germany. And um, is it easy? I would say um, probably not more easy or difficult than anywhere else. So in the end, you need to believe in the idea of the company and you need to believe in the vision and you need to believe in the, in the market. And the VCs need to believe. And um, if you're convincing and if you're convincing numbers, um, it will work out, but it's not uh, just quick win. You, know, you have to fight, even if you have a really good idea, you always have to fight for it. How work is transforming itself? From my, from my personal point of view, um, freelancing is the future um, of online work. Because um, this will change the whole way how people are working will change. At the moment, everybody is working in an office uh, with, with people of the same company, and this will dramatically change over the next uh, eight, nine, ten years. I think in almost every country in the world, and uh, people will be more flexible. People um, will be able to work from home because right now you have the infrastructure. You can you come from the sky with really good quality. Um, the work will be more end result driven, basically, and um, so there's a, a lot of change. And and with platforms like Travo and, and and others, it's very easy to really find good freelancers on a flexible basis. And even especially if you're a startup, it makes all sense in the world because you don't have the fixed costs anymore. But you can be flexible and really just find the best experts. Not the best available experts in your city as it was before, 
where you find the best experts, and that's tremendously. And that's what you need to be a startup because the standard you can't uh, get anywhere, but in you know, order to be really big and to create a global player, which every startup obviously wants. And I have a question from uh, Dario Banfi, an Italian journalist uh, specialized in. Uh, the freelancing segment, he wrote a book that's called Vita da Freelance, Living as a Freelance. And his concern is about how can this model be sustainable on the long term for the service provider? Um, it's all about um, how good you are. And, and with such a platform, you have a significant advantage where there's not working with such a platform because um, you will keep your reputation. You build a reputation and you will keep it. If you're not working with Spyro, then with every new customer you have to build up a new reputation from zero. With Spyro, you keep the reputation, and this is not a reputation Spyro gives you, but it's an authentic reputation from your customer, from the former customers. And uh, with this reputation, this leads to higher hourly rates. You can charge more, and it's way easier to get um, new jobs. Because, of course, if you have the style, five style valuations, from five, seven, ten projects, it's of course way easier to get new projects, to get projects from very important customers, for example, major major companies like Siemens, etc. You only get that with a good reputation. And uh, so it's all about if you're doing a good job, you get good your reputation. And it's a circle, it's a very positive circle. And of course, this positive circle has a downside. If you're not doing a good job, you have a problem anyway, because and then your reputation is going down. But this is in real life, it's always the same. You know, this is nothing special. When a client posting a project, usually it's not the cheapest service provider who win the project, but usually it's the, the middle price. So the client tend to exclude uh, more, very often from the beginning the, the price that are too cheap. So we always advise our provider to, to avoid to really go for the cheap price, just to win a project because that's not the way to go. And uh, I remember at the very beginning, I, I had some clients who told me that at the end they didn't choose anybody because everybody was trying to get to offer the cheap price, and the client didn't want to to go for the cheap price. He wanted to have some quality, and uh, seeing a price that to to him looked too too cheap didn't really uh, give him any trust. Speak about the boom of freelancing. How do you say it in German? Actually, we um, I call ourselves very often as the Wirtschaftswunder for freelancer. Wirtschaftswunder is the... The economic... Boom, boom. economical. Boom, boom economical. Uh, because, I mean, we deliver jobs, we deliver safety, we deliver more income. That's what we do for freelancers. We as a sales force for freelancers. So it's very easy. They don't need to to uh, think about acquisition anymore. The jobs come to them. It's pretty easy. Hey, Luna, can you summarize the results of Tuago today? We are growing by 20, more than 20% every month for the last 12 months. And this is a tremendous growth, which we um, have to manage here from, from Berlin. We grow from, I would say, 10 people, roughly, yeah. um, to more than 30 people at the moment here in the office. And uh, yeah, from here, we try to change the world of working. Great. Thank you very much. And have a happy startup here in Berlin. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Goodbye. Well,